Jonathan Perez here alongside Nico Tan for WFT Sports and ESPN Gainesville. We're here in Atlanta in the Georgia Dome where the SEC Championship game just finished moments ago and Alabama was crowned SEC champs for the second year in a row. Nico, this matchup featured two of the top defenses in the entire country. And we just saw here that Florida just couldn't get it done. Jonathan, Alabama is not only one of the top defensive teams in the nation, they're one of the most complete teams in all college football. So the Gators really needed to play well offensively, defensively, and on special teams. And you saw in the first half, it wasn't really going well for the Gators on special teams. In the second half, the Gators just got gassed on defense. And let's show you how it happened. In the first quarter, the Gators are trailing 2 0, but Antonio Callaway, he changes that in a hurry. Man, this kid is special, Nico. He is a special kid, Jonathan. Incredible vision on his punt return touchdown, the second in his young career. The Gators lost the game, but Florida fans can relish in the fact that this guy will be in Gainesville for a few more years. All right, just before the half now, Alabama's Derrick Henry punches this one in from two yards out to give the Crimson Tide a 12-7 lead. 44 carries and 189 yards for the Heisman Trophy candidate. That's more yards than the entire Florida offense, Jonathan. And then here, Jacob Coker with a great play to Darius Stewart. Bama up 22-7 at that point. Yeah, a solid game from Coker. He threw for 204 yards and he had two touchdown passes on the night. But Nico, it was another rough one for Florida offensively. They just put up 180 total yards. You know, two categories really stood out to me, Jonathan. The Gators only had seven first downs compared to Alabama's 25, and then Florida had the ball 27 minutes less than the Tide. Alabama walks away with a 29-15 win in the SEC Championship. The Gators now stand at 10-3 on the year, and they are bowl eligible. And on Sunday, we'll find out exactly what bowl game they'll be playing in to conclude their season. Jonathan, despite the loss, let's not forget the Gators have had a phenomenal year. Many experts thought they'd finish fifth in the SEC East, so the Gators do have a little bit of time before their bowl game. So let's see if the Gators can finish the season on a high note and avoid losing their last three games. All right, well, for WFT Sports and ESPN Gainesville, I'm Jonathan Prez, and he's Nigo Tan. We're reporting from the Georgia Dome here in Atlanta.